The Reese Report with Al and Laura Reese. What makes a movie star? I was watching the Academy Awards a couple weeks ago and I was thinking about it. How do you get to win an Academy Award? How do you get to be one of the biggest stars in the world? How do you get to be famous? Well, you have to think like a brand. Think like a toothpaste, for example, and Crest. How did Crest become powerful? They own a word in the mind. For Crest, that word is cavities, of course. If you're John Wayne, the word you own in the mind is a man's man. John Wayne always played John Wayne. He was a man's man. And in 1994, John Wayne was voted America's favorite movie star. The funny thing is, he had been dead for 15 years. That's how powerful the John Wayne brand is. The next John Wayne, some say it's going to be George Clooney, the new man's man. He's certainly manly to me. Sexy woman, that word is owned, of course, by Marilyn Monroe. Sexy man, mm, that, of course, is Brad Pitt. These people basically play the same role in every film, but that's how they get to be so famous. They are so focused and to build such strong brands. Pretty woman, that's Julia Roberts. Ever since she played that memorable part, we always think of her as the pretty woman. A New York Times critic, however, said this about Julia. As many detours as Julia Robert may make, she remains imprisoned in her archetype. Oh, the poor thing, Miss Julia Roberts. At $20 million a picture, put me in jail, please. Bad boy? Jack Nicholson. Even at his age today, he's still a bad, bad boy. He even has a distinct visual. You always see him at the Oscars, and he always has his trademark sunglasses. Wise guy? None other than Mr. Bruce Willis. Lovable cad, the guy we all love, Hugh Grant. Goofball, that brand is, and that word is, of course, connected to Jim Carrey. Action hero? Well, that's Tom Cruise, also known as a little bit crazy after jumping up and down on the couch. That might actually hurt his brand. Piano Man? If you like music, you know Billy Joel from my hometown in Long Island. The Governator? That's, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger, originally the Terminator, but today as Governor of California, we like to know him as the Governator. Now, you can't yeah, Arnold has been able to move his brand from Terminator to Governator, but when he tried to take a detour to being pregnant, didn't quite work. He actually played a pregnant guy in a movie called The Junior, and as you can expect, it tanked. Shock Jock? That's none other than Howard Stern, who for years has epitomized this idea in the mind. Perky? None other than Katie Couric. And while Perky has worked in the morning, she's having a little bit of trouble in the evening news that isn't so perky. The material girl, that's of course Madonna. Chairman of the board, none other than Frank Sinatra. You can see without even knowing the person's name, you know exactly who I'm talking about. And that's a sign of a powerful brand. The boss, Bruce Springsteen. The King of Las Vegas, Wayne Newton. The current Queen of Las Vegas, Celine Dion. David Arquette, I don't know if you know him, but he is an actor, just not a terribly famous one. And this is what he had to say. It's rather important not to get pigeonholed. It's really important to keep people guessing. Well, it also makes people not even know who you are. Toby Maguire, very talented actor, but not a very, very big star. Toby Maguire says, I don't want to be only known as Spider-Man, like that's such a bad thing. I want to be an actor who can handle a lot of diverse roles. Well, certainly you are going to handle a lot of diverse roles. You just aren't going to be a mega $20 million a picture star unless you can also build a powerful brand. Walter Matthau once said, I used to think of myself as being an actor. But people don't want to see actors. They want to see personalities. It's personalities that sell things like Us Weekly and make people go to TMZ.com. They want to see famous 
celebrities, personalities, or brands. What about you? What if you wanted to be a star at work? It's not just Hollywood that has its stars. There's also stars in the workplace. Well, of course, the same principles apply. You need to own a word in the mind. For instance, what makes a consultant? Owning a word in the mind. Drucker owns management. Peters owns excellence. Hammer owns re-engineering. Porter owns competitiveness. Philip Crosby owns quality. I want to be a star, of course. And my word in the mind, the word I want to focus on, is focus. This is the Reese Report, and I'm Laura Reese.